lots of people these days are complaining that they are tired all the times but they are not body tired they are young i know a bunch of teens and young adults they are uh, just mind tired they are not body tired if you ask them to let's say have sex they will do it like rabbits so they have that body spark the life energy but uh, they are mind tired uh, if you are a parent or if you are one of those young adults uh, struggling with this and you found my video uh, by searching for a remedy after giving up trying different doctors who are stuck into their ways not because they are not open-minded but they are also tired of life and trying to make a difference while the system they are working for they are not working for people most of the time they work for a salary uh, which is coming from a system so kind of okay i'm a doctor but the patience is just like uh, okay i have to work with these things like in my case some electronics come to me and i work for my boss i don't work to fix those things right so my focus is who pays me who provides the means of survival for me so in my case i still work to recover those things i still worked from my passion to design new things so i'm kind of uh, focused my energy on to those things instead of focusing on who pays me for my survival needs same so but lots of doctors like i said they have their own life issues bills to pay and instead of serving the patients many of them serve a system who provides means of survival and so these young people uh, kind of uh, don't trust the medical system anymore they try pills they try this and that and they are still tired okay and some people go to drugs energy drinks energy drinks became so popular for that reason people rather pay um two three dollars for a can of energy drink and get some buzz for a couple of hours uh, get a fix and uh oh, life is good other people uh, end up doing drugs unfortunately because nobody cares to dig at the roots of the problem root cause so again every time you are out of tune with your environment could be nature spouse parents uh, school schoolmates you waste energy out of your life force so instead of using that life force to generate ideas emotions motions that keep you living a life enjoying a life especially when you generate emotions of feeling good that comes from your life force those emotions are fabricated from your life force if you didn't know i'll give you an example look at the old people who are at the bottom of their candle power source and uh, they are not excited and happy when they see someone same way like a younger person is they don't have that desire for life because they are tired and they are tired body wise and mind wise and they have less intense emotions all the people unless they are possessed by some entity they can't fight you with the same power same emotional power like a young person they cannot experience a drama cannot cry with the same intensity i don't know if you get idea so if you are a young person you should burn like a torch full of fire energy and Uh, uh, I see, I see a trail. 
like a service road which takes takes uh, service cars to the with kind of a lodge I'd rather use that because I think it goes to the same spot yeah I could use that instead of this bumpy bumpy trail okay I think I'll have to find a way to that road Yeah, I'm 50 something years old and I still have some battery left to hike uh, today as well. Yesterday I hiked, uh, I went for a hike of 15k. Uh, it's not very steep, that's, that's the thing. But yeah, I was tired, slept in the car, which was not a good rest. And now I'm pushing myself. Uh, it's not easy but if I can get excited yeah that would be a different story different story because my mind would kind of uh, find some source of energy so I just talked to a hunter first day they opened um, the park to hunt for deer to allow hunting for deer while I was talking, I felt energized because it was uh, a topic. So when you do stuff that you don't enjoy, you cannot create pleasant emotions that drives you, that makes you achieve stuff or find energy that gets you complete those jobs or dreams. It's like a you have in mind to mate with someone if you have no life force likely someone else with more energy is going to chase the same person and grab the their mind and the body for themselves or create a relationship but if you have no energy only if the other person you like uh, is lacking of energy then you are kind of in tune you are like a two tired people meeting up and maybe having some some good bonding mostly through sex but uh, you will end up in depression because at some point uh, you still don't get what your soul wants can't really achieve big dreams being tired all the times and even when you want to get a job in order to get loads of money to achieve some of your life goals they won't select you if they see you that you are not providing an output enough energy and results for the company profits company success Right, so being tired all the time is not good for anyone. So again, uh, to be in tune with things and people and nature. What I see, a stupid trend, stupid, stupid, stupid. People play uh, back videos, let's say YouTubes or tutorials or stuff, uh, like a two times, three times the speed. It's like it tells me they have no patience or no time. I mean, what else? What the heck they do with their time, which is precious resource. It's a made up resource, but it's precious. What they do with it? Watch porn, or play games. How they kill time? Yeah, how? How they do that? Because they, are, they seem to be in a hurry all the time and being in a hurry and not having time makes you feel tired make you feel like uh, you know what I never had time so they force themselves to listen to this let's say tutorials or videos or even some stuff at double the speed but the thing is the brain is not designed to listen a voice at double the speed 
the the voice have to be the pace of the person if i'm talking slow uh, and if i start talking to someone who's very fast talker uh i lose connection it's like uh, okay i my mind cannot track this guy's thoughts and emotions and uh, ideas it's too fast and i'm getting tired same thing people get brain tired by listening this stuff of double speed 1.5 or two times speed which is like i said is not natural but is implemented by youtube and other providers because of the demand and somehow somehow they encourage this stupid trend people like they they think people think that they uh, manage to get things done like lots of things i've i watch like a 20 videos a day whoa i got so much done but by the end of the day they're so tired they don't know why it's tired because nobody tells them you did something against your nature also meeting someone who is different vibe i just said earlier if you meet someone who's not on your tune they are maybe a different pace you get tired or they get tired so today i met a lady who uh, it was uh, uh was here in the parking lot to get away from the city so a young female and i talked to her and she was talking slow and smooth so i had to tune my pace according to her style i mean i was talking a little bit faster but she was talking much slower than me not because she was brain damaged or anything like that no no she was perfect normal and she had uh, an appetite for new stuff like uh, not a new technology but she was curious about things let me drink some water then i'll talk in a bit i just had some water uh, very cold really cold but it's good it's refreshing and uh, it, now it feels like uh, okay it was a good break and this water is going to do some uh, good stuff in my body and some cleanup helping me get rid of some of the residues uh, so when you are dehydrated also you get sluggish very important to stay hydrated not over drink water like they say two liters of water a day that i don't know uh, maybe it's for american people and everyone copied the standard american people like when you have 100 kilos a person uh, yes a liter and a half or two liters is necessary for that big body but if you are a teenager and you are 50 kilo, kilos let's say 100 pounds uh, you need to think through your perspective doesn't you don't have to copy whatever people post on the internet because they are not really specific to say yes a teenager should drink or a teenager of 60 kilos should drink this much water because we know we have a special software and based on 20,000 individuals who went through some testing programs we tune uh, we tune this performance and we figure that about two liters of water is necessary for this much body weight no 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 no. this is all kind of a trial and error so they don't have this data according to the continent to the race to the body weight so they, there is some data but it's limited and you cannot just grab the data of the internet or some naturopath who tells you yeah you need two liters of your body will tell you we drink water not by the quantity with the measuring cup you drink water till you feel uh, you're done you're not thirsty anymore and sometimes people are so focused on not essential stuff that they forget about 
uh, looking after their body and uh, they forget to drink water. It happened to me all the time. So I had a reminder to drink water. But I did not just gulp water, 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 because I had to meet the quota of two liter. And now that's dumb. I had water, sometimes half a glass, sometimes a glass. And uh, the body tells me, okay, you're kind of done, you're kind of pushing it. And if you're dehydrated for a long time, yes, at first uh, you need to push it a bit. Uh, but after the body gets into the normal uh, state of uh, accepting water as necessary, so you pass the dehydration phase. And then the body tells you, this is done, you had enough. Uh, people use some uh, aids into the, into the water, maybe lemon, stuff like that, to uh, be able to drink and have some vitamin and other benefits. So dehydration leads you to being tired, not breathing, so not having a deep breath. When you just breathe shallow, because you have a bad posture at work or at, at your desk or you sit in your bed watching stuff on the internet with your head down like that so you see the teens head down in the phone and when I talked to two chiropractors they said it's going to be a, a new epidemic of neck injuries and neck pain because of this habit, bad habit. So this bad habit is not only uh, damaging your top vertebrae, but also uh, compresses your lungs. So you won't have deep breath taking in. So it's like a, your lungs will just feel quarter or maybe half of their maximum volume and not having enough oxygen then you don't have enough burning or a good burning in the cell at the cellular level then um, you end up being tired because you have no energy pro being produced by the cells and also <laughs> right here uh, this area is blocking the air intake Right? because your head is down so that's another reason or if you are a parent if you see the kid watching like that if the head is heavy and I explained this thing in a different video the head is heavy and there is no muscle support because these things are not moving and then lack of exercise lack of exercise so exercise will strengthen your back muscles and other muscles which helps you with a better posture. A better posture helps to better body management and energy management and functioning and healing. While you exercise, but not exercise like a machine, go to the gym because everyone does that. That's, if it's for you, that's go ahead. Yeah, if you fit into a gym environment and that mindset, go ahead. But to me, it's not my thing. I see uh, dudes and bitches uh, trying to get in shape so they could have more sex. That's uh, one of the main goals of people I noticed going to the gym because I see who's coming and if I, you see a chick with tight pants and with a bra just coming from the gym with a gym bag and big like just bra, big teeth and stuff, you, you see, okay, fake teeth uh, fake body uh, or just made up body and she's exposing herself to the public showing like okay I just came from the gym what's that stupid bragging about same thing with guys showing some uh, body like some muscle or something I don't know I'm, I'm not getting impressed but not even uh, like uh, other people are not in, maybe five percent of people who s notice their bodies after coming from the gym uh they get like whoa 
and it's a minority. So if you're not into that, if you're not looking to mate for sexual pleasures and stuff, then uh, you don't need to go to gym, but go for hikes in the nature. And the nature, you see the static atmosphere, like uh, nothing move much, will slow you down, will retune your brain for a slower paced life. Again, then uh, if your bosses are pushing you, rushing you, get things done, quick, 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 quick. If you're not made for that, you get tired. And you get tired is you'll get chronic fatigue, which is common to lots of uh, office people. Uh, then the, after chronic fatigue becomes a decision making fatigue. Is but decision making is not better explained because it's emotional fatigue, and it comes from the lack of vital force. So they don't tell you in the books. Uh, because people are thinking through the programming they got in the university or some bullshit school that is also being taught by people who claim that they are experts in their field but they see only their field. I'm not saying they are stupid or uh, dumb or idiots, just uh, they don't connect the dots. Expert mathematician might not know anything about birth, <laughs> uh, a woman uh, ways of giving birth or life or philosophical stuff, it's just few. Or uh, experts in biochemistry, just narrow and very powerful into that field, but that's it. So talk to you later. Bye-bye. Be careful.